Welcome everybody to Chronically Online Fashion Trivia. I'm your host, Karsten Craning. Today, we are taking two internet people head to head and having them face off <laughs> fashion trivia facts. Our first contestant, they were kicked out of the hype house for blasting death grips too much. This German wears so much Rick Owens, their followers call them Rick Mommy. No, I am not talking about Brenda Hashtag. I am talking about the president of Gen Z, fashion photographer for Vogue, Yves Saint and so much more, Illumitati. How are you doing today, Tati? I'm doing absolutely fantastic. And correction, it was not for blasting too much death grips. It was for heinous acts we can't speak of, actually. Next, we have sometimes bald, sometimes blonde, and always spending their parents' hard-earned income oh, on Kurt God. Cobain's rarest leather jacket. <laughs> they are one half of the only podcast that matters, Pair of Kings, here to bring business as usual and tomfoolery as planned. It's Saul Thompson. How are we feeling, Saul? I'm doing well. Uh, happy to be here. Very honored to be here on the, the inaugural episode. Um, mm -hmm. Very much looking forward to, to winning this at any cost. I will lie, cheat, and steal in order to gain any upper hand in this competition. That's I know what where capitalism you live. is about, guys. <laughs> okay, our categories are please like and subscribe, where I give you some prompts on famous fashion YouTubers. Gender swap oh, designers, fuck. where I give you a picture of a famous designer, but they're gender swapped. Flex Up, where I give you fashion lyrics from a hip hop song, and you have to guess what the song is. It really ties the room together. These are uh, objects often found in fashion MFers' house, and he's just like me, where I describe for you a famous movie with some great fashion in it, and you have to guess the movie. If you win this game, you guys will get your very own, drum roll please, talk edit, fan edit, by me, for you. Ooh. All right, Soul because you are staying up late, would you like to choose a category? <laughs> sure, uh, could I take Flex Up for 300? All right, Flex Up, hosted by Mark Boutillier. Hey, Karstens YouTube, my name is Mark Boutillier, and today I'm going to be reading you guys some <laughs> rap lyrics that contain fashion stuff. Give Raph Simmons when I'm gifting. That means sometimes I give it. You know that you want it. Sterling Silver Lasers. Ruby's red, my skin too black to blush. I cover my face and I'm bloody. That's spring, summer, O2. Beautifully read, Mark. I have no idea. I'm gonna, I have I'm gonna pass no it over idea. To Tati. This was 100, I, this was the easiest category. This is a, I don't listen to any rap music. I'm gonna be so <laughs> ratioed. I'm gonna pass. I have no idea what this is. I, um, I, I'm just, I'm just knee jerk reaction is this has gotta be Playboy Cardi something. Yes, it is Playboy Cardi something. So Tati, we will give you half a point, your team two. The answer is Raph by ASAP Rocky, Frank Ocean, Quavo, and Playboy Cardi. I've never heard I not know this. Hold on. Life, First of all, I used to like this song. Is this the one, the the one that came out second? Yes. Okay, let's do, let's do. He's just like me then. Let's start it off. When this suave gentleman wasn't trying to get reservations <laughs> to his favorite restaurant, he was wearing Versace suits and carrying around Jean Paul Gaultier bags. You know, and now that I, I'm second guessing myself, but I I think it's American Psycho, right? It is American Psycho. Yeah, Dorcia's, right? Okay, cool. Yes, it is Dorcia. <laughs> the bag was originally supposed to be Comme des Garçons, but they ran it by Ray Kawakubo, and she was like, absolutely f not, you're having me in this movie. So they switched the bag to Jean-Paul Gaultier. Saul, this is why you're in this competition. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> uh, Tati, which one would you like to do next? Let's, let's do He's Just Like Me for 200. He's Just Like Me for 200. This adaptation of a young adult dystopian classic features a heroine protagonist who wears Eiter Throop designed body armor and her code name is a type of bird. Uh, Hunger Games. <laughs> it is the Hunger Games. Okay, let's hit 300 for He's Just Like Me. He's Just Like Me for 300. Let's keep going through it. In this film, a famous Saturday Night Live alumni and his lover visits the studio of Hysteric Glamour and party with the team. Is this Zoolander? It is not Zoolander. Here's a hint. This Saturday Night Live alumni also played an orange furry feline. Uh, it's what? Bill Murray. Yeah. Uh, who played Garfield or voiced Garfield in the Garfield movie. Mm -hmm. uh, it's oh, not- Oh, uh, is, is this uh, Lost in Translation? <laughs> Tati, you are correct again. Wow, yes. I'm getting washed. Let's Tati, hit it for 400. Do it for 400. Yeah. 
This crew of space adventurers wear Craig Green design uniforms where they meet a hyper-intelligent AI robot who has engineered a pesticide species, makes humans their host, and kill them. I'll take a guess. Just say alien. I mean, I, I don't... It is in a alien movie, and I'll give you points already just for guessing. Can I get Prometheus as a guess? It is the sequel to Prometheus. It is Alien Covenant. Where they were yeah, green. no, that would have not. I would have never guessed that. All right, Saul, you got it in your bag now. You can choose and take the game wherever you want. Where are you gonna take it? Uh, I'll finish out. He's just like me, five hundred. We should. He's we just should... like me for five hundred, and this is the most hard one yet. In this adaptation of a manga, an insane psychotic killer faces off against Kuza, oh. and the cast were Yoji Yamamoto, Hysteric Glamour, Undercover, and Jean Paul Gaultier. Uh, what is Ichi the Killer? You got it. It is Ichi oh, the what Killer. What the fuck even is that? Shout out to um Oliver who runs Angels Afternoon. He did a video on this. Yeah, huh? give me gender swap designers for a hundred. Gender swap designers for a hundred. Let's see this person. Oh, what the? F uh, who is Eve Saint Laurent? This is Eve Saint Laurent. Ooh. Oh, that's fucked. That's okay. fucked. Uh, give me gender swap designers for two hundred. Gender swap designers for two hundred. Oh, um, uh, is this Vivian Westwood? It is Vivian uh, Westwood, Tati. Well done. I showed this one to my girlfriend, and she thought it was Rick Owen's wife. We get it. We get that <laughs> I'm a fem cell, and he's an incel. But there's no need to flex on us, Karsten. Oh, the gender swap. for yeah. three hundred. It is. Uh, is this Margella? This is Margella. Four hundred, no baby girl. All right. Oh, who is Rap oh, Simmons? Jesus. Ah, Saul got it. <laughs> that's the most like senator ass photo i've ever seen or like yeah. dutch politician Damn. she looks like she the works baby. in big pharma that's she looks good. like she's that's... part of the sackler family but she also loses ten thousand dollars a month on a small cookie business uh gender swap designers all right it's gonna be rick I... owens oh it's not oh who is Andamula Meester? This is Andamula Meester. Oh. Yeah. I thought this one kind of looks like uh, Pico Kasatnov a little bit, I think. I'll do a slight curveball. Give me it really ties the room together, but let's start at 400. It really ties the oh. room together, starting at 400. That's daring. But it's not my Apex twin table. Want to kick back after a long day? This leather and wood chair mm. is beloved by fashion enthusiasts and iCarly, as it was seen in her apartment that she shared with her older brother, Spencer Shea. What is a Herman Miller Eames chair? That is correct. Jesus so Christ, it is what a the Herman fuck? Miller Eames chair. I don't know anything about furniture. I thought the questions were gonna be like, who does Free Sammy have beef with? Like I thought that it was gonna be, <laughs> I really thought it was gonna be like on a scale of one to ten, how insufferable is Bailey Andrews? For three hundred, it really ties the room together. This item retails for ten thousand dollars, and nothing says luxury like pulling a hamstring as you're trying to sit down in it. This piece of furniture is a mainstay. Every Los Angeles concrete bunker. Oh my God. For ten thousand dollars. Well, what is the? Oh no, it's a, it's a chair. Hold on, let me think. I'll I'll guess a Wasilly chair. It is not it's a Wasilly chair. Ah, sh is it the American Psycho chair? It's not the American Psycho chair. It was unfortunately the Toga couch. Let's hit the five hundred for it. Really ties the room together. Oh, okay. This one is gonna be some deep lore here. What does Playboy Cardi smell like? Well, his house smells like this brand of candles which runs you $430 for their biggest size. Aesop candles? Uh, it's not Aesop. No, it's not So Aesop. Uh, I'll talk my thought process for a second. The mm. Labo has big candles, but I think they retail in the biggest size for more than 430. Mm. I know Joe Malone has a three wick candle that's quite expensive, but I don't see- How the fuck do you know this? Oh my God, God I'm so God happy I'm losing right now. Nice. I am on. so happy I'm losing right now, because <laughs> what the actual hell? Touch Tati's, grass. Tati's house is confirmed musty as shit. Uh, I'll guess La Labo. I use my Aesop incense. What the fuck are you talking about? This video is not sponsored by Aesop Incense, but Aesop Incense. <laughs> Wait, which one, one do you use? I use uh, Kaginru. Kagiru. Oh, so, okay. Tati, it's not Aesop, it's not Lalabo. Do you want to try another guess? I'll give you guys a hint. It is a French candle and scent company. Yeah, I don't know what it went. <laughs> oh, oh, is it Diptyk? It's Diptyk! Oh, Let's go! Me. It really ties the room together for 200. 200, it really ties the room together. Do you like Yoshimoto Nara? Do you also oh, enjoy uh, the lattes? If these light, if the... so, these light fixtures would be perfect for illuminating your coffee table book that Fuck, you have never It's the paper 
it's a, it's a paper thingy yep. and it's yep. tiny and it's cute. Can and I give you half the points for it? It's Noguchi Tati. One hundo. It really ties the room together. All I right. This is something. this is one feeling stinky. P.U. This bathroom flex will remind you that good taste can help you beat the Redditor hygiene mm. allegations. It's a, it's, a, it's a hand soap. I'm guessing it's either a Lalabo hand soap or it's some sort of like skincare routine. I'm trying to think of the other basic ones, like the ordinary. I'll go with the Lalabo soap. hand soap. Yeah. Hati, you just soap. said it. It's it was it's... Aesop hand soap. Yeah, let's try 300. All right. I let's just want to see Mark again. Uh, yeah. I'm up in Dover Street Market and I took that hoe, put her back on the market. And I drive the whip, but little bitch, I can't park it. She asked what I like. I told that bitch shopping. I told that bitch shopping. Is this Dover Street Market by I don't fucking know? It is. It is Dover Street Market by Destroy Love. Yeah! It flex up for 400. Flex up for 400. I am a mall whore and my Pradas look like Tom Ford. Black gloves on. Yeah, I'm looking hardcore. Hitman, yeah, I'm rocking with the Dark Lord. If you all for me, baby, then I'm all yours. This is a mall whore freestyle by Blade. You are correct, yeah. Saul Thompson. No way. Got a fantastic uh, boing sound effect in there, which is why I know it. Uh, give me flex up for 200. Flex up for 200 it is. I sold my soul for Chrome Heart mixed with Carhartt. Yes, I'm splashing, new fashion, I can't take no loss. I rock Junior on wannabes. I got no heart. I put enlist to denim on rims on my car. This is a Rocky lyric. I don't know what song it is, but this is the most ASAP Rocky lyric I've ever heard in my life. It's a Do you want to lock that in as your guess? It's, it's not ASAP Rocky. Is it another member of the ASAP mob? Technically, I think so. Bjork. It is not your. <laughs> All right. Well, let me um, give you guys a hint. This song also features Nicki Minaj, where she boasts, "Make my ass great again, MAGA." Oh, this I is, um... only listen to ambient like pan pots and pans banging. It's not futsal shuffle. It's uh, uh it's not just wanna rock. It's another one of the new ones that he's. You. I don't know. I don't know. Junior. It's endless by Lil. Ah, yeah, yeah. Please like and subscribe for four hundred. Please like and subscribe for 400. This fashion yes. YouTuber doesn't just give tutorials on how to dress like a bad boy, but also makes sure you don't oh. femininely or dribble pee in your pants. This is Alpha M, right? Aaron this something? This is Alpha M. Yeah. <laughs> this is so sad. Who is I that? Know. Who is that? Um, think Andrew Tate, eh, who discovered like a mirror e jeans. Where are you going to take? Uh, let's finish Flex Up for 500. All right, flex up for 500. This one is difficult. Yeah, and I'm rocking this Rick Owens fit right now. I don't rock Helmet Lang. Like, yeah, I just rock out. I got a Glock out. I'm finna hit me a stain. Is this, is this Yeet? Destroy the Lonely? It's not Yeet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't wear Helmet Lang. It is another white boy rapper like Yeet. Yeah, it was giving white boy. Mm-hmm. It is very much giving white boy. Pray to God if this is some drain gang shit. I'm this is not yeah. drain gang. This is what we would call a new gen underground rapper. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, there's no actually idea. no fucking Sorry. way. It is Jin Sang by Dom Corleone. Yeah. No idea who that is. I'm getting. I'm so okay. sorry. Please like and subscribe for 300. 300. This incredibly yes. handsome fashion YouTuber covers more than just clothes, but also music architecture and has the coolest up um, clothing brand. Is this Karsten? This is Karsten oh. Creedy. Yeah. <laughs> Brings us to today's sponsor of the video. Yo, what's good everybody? It's Karsten. And yes, I am sponsoring my own video. Reason for that is, is that I have my own clothing brand. Unlike other creators, I don't hide my content behind a paywall. I don't have a Patreon. I don't have anything like that. All my content is free. And I really enjoy making sure it's free. But because of that, I would really appreciate if you guys went to my Instagram and checked out my clothing brand. And I love making clothing. I make a lot of cool stuff. It's really my passion. I made a whole bunch of different things and I have more clothes coming out soon. I made this shirt. Just give me a follow on Instagram if you want to support a cool, small, independent designer. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all free. Carson just said it himself. And if he goes back on his word, he's a liar. And then we can cancel him on Twitter or in JQ's Discord server. 
Speaking of JQ, let's talk about more fashion YouTubers. Uh, like and subscribe for 200, please. For 200, please like and subscribe. This YouTuber went from painting Galaxy Vans to showing off their niche, dark, oh. esoteric clothes. They have now retired from YouTube to a quiet life of using berries and other fruits to dye organic cotton hoodies on their farm. Who is Avery Ginsburg? It might be Ginsburg. I'm sorry it if I Is Avery Ginsburg or geared towards gear? 100 or 500? Easy mode or hard mode? I'll take 500 first. That sounds We're fun. We're doing 500. This downtrodden fashion YouTuber discuss discusses the sociological <laughs> impact of fashion projects. <laughs> Who is JQ? This is JQ or the yes. fashion elitist. This fashion YouTuber is known for their pickup videos Boris where they only pick up Rick Owens shorts or Boris Bajan Saberis. Is this you again? No. <laughs> I love Boris. Is, I don't own any is this is this Alan Svensson, chronically on line Rick Wearer? This is not Alan Svensson. Is it Marcus Ronning? It is not Marcus Ronning. It's in that vein. F it's another one of the guys with the um, darkware startup. It Gosh. is a guy with the darkware startup. It's not. It's know, not Owen Hyatt. I don't know Hyatt. any. He, he buys a lot. It's he not Owen Hyatt, but you're getting closer. I don't know I anybody in LA that wears Boris Bijan. To be honest, I don't. I've never seen anybody in the wild, like heard of anybody wearing Boris in LA. I'm sure that like there's plenty of people that do. I just have never seen them. This was who's Jacob or Wallace. God damn it! Oh, yep. oh my. I, he oh, lives literally, he li he's my like upstairs neighbor. I just always see him wearing fucking Rick Owens in the elevator. Shout out to Jacob Wallace and his new clothing drop that just came out. We are now to round two of our new categories are fashion collection or emo song name. AI is taking our jobs where I show you an AI generated image of a fashion runway and you have to guess what designer that AI is trying to emulate. Oh. I bet you have never heard this one where I am going to describe some bands that are often uh, recommended by fashion people. Uh, mm. Tom York or Tom Ford, where I describe two two people with similar names, one a fashion designer and one somebody else, and you have to guess oh. who both of them are. And like then that. finally, I didn't know they were in Opium, where I show you a picture of a celebrity in full Rick, and you have to guess who that celebrity is because I have blurred out their face. I didn't know they were in Opium for 500. I didn't know they were in Opium for 500. Let's do it. This oh. is person is in a Rick Owens jacket in a beautiful light blue Minecraft diamond color. Is this Michelle Obama? This is Michelle Obama. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tati, oh, on oh. getting the hardest one in this this one. Where do you want to go now? Let's do it for four hundred. All right, let's do it for four hundred. This one is a lovely gentleman in a great Rick fit. Can I guess Al Pacino? This is not Al Pacino, but this is a good guess. <laughs> Can you give us a hint? This is a New York legend. New York musical artist legend loved by anyone who loves New York. Not helping me. They had a review of Yeezus, which went viral. None of these hints help. There's, first yeah. of all, so many musical artists too. I think everybody had an opinion on Yeezus. It was a famous <laughs> Rolling Stone article that they wrote specifically in um, uh, defense of Yeezus as they thought it was the greatest thing artistically done. They were friends with Andy Warhol. They, Andy are, Warhol. they have since passed away. This person has since passed away. This person has since passed away. Oh, I feel like a bad New Yorker. I should know this. I'm, I feel like I would just- This insult. is Lou Reed of the Velvet Underground. God damn it. Rick yeah, Owen. of course it was. God damn it. Oh, okay. Let's do that for, let's do that for 300. For 300. You probably got into this artist because your favorite influencer wore a t-shirt with its logo on it. And Kanye sampled one of their songs, but you probably can't name another artist in their genre. Is this Tati, Apex Twin? Gonna... This is Apex Twin. Tati, where do you want to take it? Let's do that same category for 400. Same category for 400. Every man in LA wants to be a DJ because of these artists. This duo oh. being skinny, wearing Heidi Slaman, and making Electro Clash art pop. Who is, is Daft Is this Punk? the help? Who is Daft Punk? Tati got it. It is the help. <laughs> what? They, what? Are you kidding? I guess it's not Electro Clash art pop. That makes sense. Ugh. I, I heard... Eddie, that's fine. I'm stupid. Who the hell are the help? Uh, let's hit it for 200. For 200. This band is most likely going to be recommended to you by an edgy high school TikToker in mudwash jeans, a raccoon fur, furry hoodie, and an affliction shirt. Hi, um, Deftones. It is Deftones. <laughs> I like how you spell Deftones wrong. Yeah, isn't it D-E-F? Yeah. It is D-E-F. It's... Oh. 
Let's do 500. Let's do 500. This is where things might get tricky. This band makes terrifying neo-folk and industrial albums that is sure to make any baby cry. However, oh. <laughs> Anthony Fantano fans have a toothy grin while listening to this band's records, as it is one of the rare bands who he's given a 10 out of 10 to. Death Grips, Death Grips, Death Grips! Ooh, it is not Death Grips. Huh? What do you find neo folk and industrial albums? Yes. First of all, I think Anthony Fantano is such a work. Um, I, no, no. Yeah. That's one of my friends. He's a Brockhampton fan, isn't he? Screw that guy. Ooh, Brockhampton taking strays. As they should. How is this not <laughs> Death Grip? It's neo folk. That's, I, I have no idea who this is. I'm sorry. I have no idea. It is Swans. Yeah, no. No, I never heard of them. I might be the too chronically online one out of all of them. <laughs> uh, let's finish it. I, I 100. I bet you've never heard of this one. All right. I bet you never heard of this one. This band has introduced a whole genre, a whole generation to industrial experience oh. hip hop, but their distinct album covers also expose this generation to puppy play and their drummer schlong. This is Death Grips, right? Death Money Death Store? This is Death Grips, Saul. Yeah, let's go. Uh, could I get AI is taking our jobs for A 100? AI is taking our jobs for 100. All right. Which designer is this based on these looks? Uh, Walter uh, uh, Jeremy Scott Moschino. All right. We had two answers, and one of them was correct. Which one was it? It was Walter. Hey, ah. it is. Uh, AI for 200, please. All right. Uh, who is oh, Vivian is this Westwood? Vivian Westwood? It is Vivian Westwood, Tati. I said Vivian Westwood as well. Okay, we're gonna give it to both of you then. Tom York or Tom Ford for 100. Were you? This hilarious show is about an old man who turns himself into a pickle, and this famous fashion designer routinely turns his models into Harkonnens from Dune. Who is Rick Owens, and what is uh, Rick and Morty? You're correct, Saul. Tati. I just need to talk faster. Straight up, I need to talk right. faster. I, I'll, I, I, gotta, I gotta stop talking over women. Are we allowed? Bad for my, my reputation as a good It's guy. a bad look for Saul, <laughs> even though he is catching up. Uh, let's keep going down. Tom York or Tom Ford for 200 All please. right. This cartoon about 14-year-olds who fight robots probably changed the life of a 30-year-old chronically online person, you know. And the main character in this show and the designer both share the same first name and country of origin. Uh, uh, this is Neon Genesis Evangelion. Oh, 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 I know, it's, I... it's Ray and Ray. Ray Kawakubo and Ray from Neon Genesis. You yeah. said the main character. Shinji... I've never heard of Neon Genesis. Oh, that's actually a legitimately very good recommendation. I'd hate to be the white guy recommending Anthony, but... <laughs> Neon Genesis is a certified classic. Uh, let's keep going down. Tom York or Tom Ford for 300. Okay. This famous person created a marketplace where one could offload their power tools or collection of Rush, Rush CDs, while this famous designer made clothes that look like the tent section of your local REI. Uh, Craig Green and Craigslist. Tati. Oh. I didn't know there were an opium for 300. I didn't know there were an opium for 300. This Rick Fit is a oh. classic. Oh, fuck. Who is Taylor Swift? Uh, no. That's Taylor Swift, yeah. That is Taylor Swift. Fuck. It's anyone's game still. I want to remind that. But, mm. but, Saul is winning. <laughs> Saul, where do you want to go? Yeah, no need to point out the fucking obvious. <laughs> Let's do, I didn't know they were an opium for 200. All right. I didn't know they were an opium for 200. Let's see it. Who is Zendaya? Who is Zendaya? It is Zendaya. Saul takes it again. However, Tati, uh. you also got it. You also got it. And just for both saying it at the same time, I'll, I'll award both of you points. Finish, uh, I didn't know they were an opium for 100. All right, one last fit. Is this the fit to rule them all? Let's take a look. Oh, who is gonna? Who's... That's 101 right there. Do Tom York or Tom Ford for 500. For 500, Tom York or Tom Ford. This handcrafted artisanal clothing brand is exclusively worn by famous fashion TikToker Bailey Andreas, and this famous American hero famously wanted uh, warned the founding fathers of the invasion of the British. Uh, who is Paul Revere, and what is Paul Harden? Paul Harden. And I think you also spelled Bailey's name wrong, unfortunately. Huh? That's yeah. Bad. It is Paul Revere, and it is Paul Harden. Good job, Saul. I apologize <laughs> to Bailey. Sorry. <laughs> He's not going to accept that apology. <laughs> okay, we've known each other for a long time. 
I've known him since he came from Wisconsin. Uh, okay. Could we finish Tom York or Tom Ford for 400? We can. All right. For 400. This famous aquatic adventurer was once shaved by their best friends so they could survive the winter. While this designer is well known for starting the coquette fashion girly bow trend. Shaved by their best friends so they could survive the winter. Who did the bow trend first? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's hard. I'm thinking that this is like Captain Drake, the, like famous aquatic adventurer. He had a beard, but I don't know who shaved him so that he could survive the winter. Why would you shave to survive the winter? Should it be the other way around? Should you grow out facial hair? Stay warm? Well, they shaved their aquatic adventurer friends so they could survive. It's not a human. What? Yeah, I'm so at a loss. Is this a dolphin? Is this this... Ugh, it's not a dolphin, it. but it is a mammal. Oh, uh, Sandy Cheeks and uh, Sandy Lang. Sandy, a oh, fuck. Sandy fuck. Okay. That was and Sandy Cheeks. I is taking our jobs for 500. For 500. Oh boy. Let's get into it. Let's see how good AI is. If you guys can recognize who. You can see fear in my eyes. There's not nothing to fear because AI will not take our jobs. Oh, who is Jill Sander? Oh my God. Damn. Nice job. <laughs> Thanks. I'm a big fan of Jill Sander. Uh, give me 400. I've been doing well in this category. All right. 400. AI is taking our jobs. Oh, uh, what is Mew Mew? It is not Mew Mew. There's so many that this could be. Yeah. Like, my knee-jerk reaction is Bottega Veneta. Not Bottega. Could I guess Prada? I won't take points, but I'm just curious if it is. It is not like, Prada. Like, older Prada? Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to say the hint because it would give it away. But this is a Swedish brand, and it's Acne Studios. Oh! oh. I love Acne right now. I think everybody loves Acne right now. Mm, I think it is a little boring. Oh. So, <laughs> hot take wouldn't get you many likes on TikTok. That's there. fine. I I don't I don't care about anything. And it's so hard. And it's cold here. Emo song name or fashion collection for five hundred. But I'm gonna take both of your guys' guesses, and each person can win points. Okay. Uh. Okay. So fifty fifty chance of also getting it right. But let's do it for five hundred. In love with an apparition. Uh. I'm gonna guess emo song. Okay. I'm gonna guess fashion collection. All right. Well. It is an emo song by real emo band, Page 99, because we don't do any of that My Chemical Romance bullshit <laughs> on this fucking show. We do real- I have also never listened to any emo music, so- We're talking about real emotional hardcore, Tati. This is real emo, DC shit, Midwest emo. We're talking real emotional hardcore, nothing like, you know, Jimmy Eat World. I don't even know what Jimmy Eat World is. They wrote the song The Middle. If you are Somebody... the age as me, you would probably know that one. She yeah, the right reaction. Yeah. Yeah. You got okay, it. Got it. That's yeah. Jimmy World. Do you, wanna, do you wanna join? Let's do 400 emo collection or, 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 you know what I mean? Yes. All right. Both of you can lock in your answers. This song is, this song is. It's a song. I'm guessing it's a song. Someday. Venus and Bacchus. <laughs> I'm guessing it's a song. That's a fashion, that's huh? a fashion collection. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say fashion collection again. It's fashion it is it is it is a song. It's by say <laughs> the AI is taking our jobs for three hundred. AI is taking our jobs for three hundred. Let's see it. Oh Anna is Irish Van Herpen. Oh she's right. I was thinking oh. of Mugler me Saul you were actually right let's go I could Barry Mugler uh, no no that is way too much fucking white to be Mugler very poor representation of Mugler and this is why AI is not taking our jobs in fact oh he cooked he cooked that's insane let's do 100 100 woe unto those who spit on oh. the fear generation the wind will blow it back. Is this an emo song? That's or so emo song. That is such an emo song. Collection. I promise you this is a fashion collection. I think that this is Raph. Uh, 2002 or 2003? All right. Uh, this is a fashion collection. <laughs> this is a fashion collection. Do we both want to lock it in? All right, what are the final answers? Saul? 
This is Raph Simmons' fashion, fashion collection. collection. Yep. Uh huh. Bati also yep. guesses fashion collection. I said collection. that. This is a fashion collection. That. It is. Yeah, I said that it was Raph 2002. Actually, like two minutes ago. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Conversation <laughs> in time on mute. That's like a. That's got to be a fashion collection. I'll take emo song to be sporting. I think it might be a fashion collection, but I'll I'll do it for the love of the game. I'm so know. pretentious. It's gotta be a fashion collection. For the love of the game, it is emo band. <laughs> oh no! Classic <laughs> scram. So bald. Goes hardcore. So bald. Emo violence. Band Jerome's Dream, who just dropped an album last year, which I would recommend everyone listen to. It's real. Nice. Oh, this is so fucking biased. I don't listen to any emo music. You are literally doing this so embarrassing. Fashion collection or emo song name for 300. This is the last one. The question will be, is this going to be a fashion collection or is this going to be an emo song name? And so the name of this thing is Peculiar Contrast Perfect Light. That's actually the name of my firstborn child. That's hard. I love like that. That's what's up. Yeah. Nine percent confident this is a fashion collection. Tati, what do you want to say this is besides the name of your firstborn child? It's a fashion collection because I just I I I've guessed wrong every single time now, basically. All right. It is a fashion collection. It was the last fashion collection from Virgil Abloh when he was at Louis Vuitton. Rest in peace. We have Tati with 5,450 points in second place. I got wiped. I got wiped. And then in first place, we have Saul Thompson. Oh. Saul, you will get your very own TikTok edit. Not to immediately take this back into what is the most depressing thing for a generation. sleep that won't ever come. It's never over. My kingdom for a kiss upon a shoulder. It's never over. All my riches for a smiles when I slept so soft against her. It's never over. All my blood for the sweetness of her. again i'm mogging edging and mewing at all times and i'll see you all tomorrow karsten thanks for having me